Engaged Lessons for the 21st Century. Reading and Comprehension, Living and Non-Living, Video 6. This is an engaged video created by Willoughby Eastlake Schools. How to use the video lesson. There are four steps and or four options. Option number one, video and questions on screen. Complete video engaged. If you are presently using a smart board, please remember to save this video first and then open it up with smart video player. Step two, option two, video and print out only the comprehensive questions that are provided. The video will play the story and the students will write on the comprehensive questions. Step three, option three, simply print out the handout only and provide a handout for each student in your class. Step four, option four, simply use the smart board lesson that is provided only. Non-living things. Non-living things do not grow. Non-living things do not change on their own. Non-living things do not have young. Non-living things do not move on their own. Living things. Living things can grow. Living things can change on their own. Living things can have young. Many living things move on their own. Plants are living things. Animals are living things. You are a living thing too. If you would, please have a student come up to the smart board for the first series of questions. Thank you. Page 1. Please do not pick up a pen to your asked to do so. Write your answers below. Each classroom may have different answers, so answers may vary from classroom to classroom. Look back at the passage if needed. Question 1. List two things that are non-living in the classroom. Place those answers here. Question 2. Why are these things non-living? And place those answers here. If you would, please pick up a pen to solve these two questions. Okay, here's what we have as an answer. Number one, list two things that are non-living in the classroom. We said chairs and curtains. And of course, you could fill in with many more items. Question two, why are these things non-living? Our answers were do not grow and no young. And again, you could have had different answers. If your answers are the same as ours or better, that is truly fantastic. Way to go. If you would, please have another student come up to the smart board. And while they're coming up here, if you would please pick up the eraser and erase your answers. Thank you. Page 2. Please do not pick up a pen until you're asked to do so. Write your answers below. Each classroom may have different answers, so answers may vary from classroom to classroom. Look back at the passage if needed. The first question. Question 3. List two things that are living in your classroom and write those answers here. Question 4. What makes these things living and write your answers here. If you would please, pick up a pen to solve these two questions. Okay, here's what we have as answers. Number three, list two things that are living in your classroom. We said plants, pets, and you. Now your answers could have more or be varied from ours. Question four, what makes these things living and our answers were can they can grow can change on their own and again you could have had different answers 
If your answers are the same as ours, or better, that is truly fantastic. If you would, please pick up an eraser and erase your answers. And we'd like to thank you for working with us today on Science for Non-Living and Living Things and Reading and Comprehension.